first time, first time, first time, first time, first time, and I remember the first time, and I remember the first time. Yeah, we only meet once in a while anyway. It's gonna be lonely not being able to see you anymore. <gasps> it's been great hanging out with you. What you wrong from me, now you wanna come back and now you love on me, but I hope it's why you think you deserve some trust from me, and your heart is painted blood, and girl, it's ugly, fuck your company. What you wrong from me, now you wanna come back and now you love on me, but I hope it's why you think you deserve some trust from me, and your heart is painted blood, and girl, it's ugly, fuck your company. And I remember the first time you had me in your hole, now you corrupted the safe, I'll never, never know, yeah, bitches had his darkness, watch all his friends turn to phone, yeah. Here, you gotta leave now. Don't get mad at me. Sorry if you feel what I feel. And I remember the first time you had me in your home. Then you go out to save Bound. They would never know. Yeah, I'm guessing that it's darkness. Watch all his friends turn to fall. Yeah, got a troubleshoot me, but I cannot be scrolled. Trying to sell me a dream, trying to sell me a home. Why you tell me a lie? Do you think I'm a joke? Swear I'm not a bad guy. But it's past my only role. Never been hated my mom. But it burned it in my soul. What's poppin'? Give me a second. One moment, please. All righty. Alrighty, let me pull up the stream here, 
What do you just say? Now you're probably most likely to know when is Monogatari going to end. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. The I can find that out for you guys. Um, just give me time. I, I could research it. Because the truth of the matter is, if you're asking me, like, I'm an Ishin fan. I really like what he does. And Monogatari, I think, is his best work. But I do think that he needs to, like, pack it up. I don't think Monogatari was a series that was designed to go on for for a really long time. And with the chronological order jumping, I think he's going to confuse a lot of people. I think he should wrap it up already. The truth be told is I would say probably during the pandemic at some point, I stopped paying attention, like, deeply. Like, deeply, deeply following. Truth be told, I've only read... I think one volume of the monster season, Bonjour Mon Coeur, only one volume of the monster season. So I could be like four books behind in total volume. So when we hop into talking, because we're going to be doing a, we're going to be doing a, a tier list of um, ranking all the Monogatari arcs. And there's actually some here that I don't recognize. So the, I have to make a tier for stuff I haven't read. There's stuff from the off season and monster season that I have read. But I don't want to spoil it. So what I'll probably do. So what I did is I put a, I put a category of don't spoil. So I know Monogatari isn't like crazy popular like that. And I know like it's not something that I particularly talk about in de in, in in depth in general, um, on a on a wild on a wide scale. But yeah. So. All right. Now let's get it. I'm going to pull up. The tier list. There we go. Whoa, I'll just blow you a blank. Let me try. Should, should I just switch screens? What's up, Abdo? Yes. Yeah. Yay. I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for the for the subscription. I can't complain, man. Can't complain. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go to this screen. I'll just I'll do I'll do this. Gotta deactivate this. Go here. I will. Video cap, wait, window capture, boom, okay, perfect. We gotta get this up. Let's get guitar season, baby. All right. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to f make it. Maybe I no, maybe I no, that's too big. If I zoom in like that, it's too big. You can't you can't see like all the things at the bottom, I guess. So I make it a bit smaller. I probably should have sized this before making the um <laughs> the stream. Now where should I go? I guess in the corner over here. A little window capture. Oh my god, hey, it's me. It's a black man. Okay. Yeah, I'll just put myself like here. And then we'll get, and I feel like I, this this is in the way. Up a bit, there we go. My thing is in the way. I want to move my my yeah. Put that above me. Okay, cool. All right. Gucci had some internet problems though. Popped in to say what's up. Can't stay since I plan to watch Monica Guitar. Yeah, fair enough. I know this is going to be one of those streams where like not too many people are in it. I know. I know this is pretty niche, but all right. So say to YouTube because this will be on YouTube at some time. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rank not well. I guess like doing a tier list of the Monogatari um arcs. I think it's actually in order, isn't it? Crab, snail, monkey, yeah. Then you go vamp. I think it's in order for the most part, I believe. Then you go to Nisei, yeah. Oh, nice. That actually helps a lot. So that's in order, and then boom, yeah, off season. Ah, look at that. That 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 that, that works. That works just perfectly, perfectly well. So, I think around the time of I believe Shinobu mastered and whatnot, and I guess the snail revisited snake. I'm not sure. Wait, Yotsugi body? That sounds familiar. But yeah, so we'll go through it in order and we'll talk about it and stuff. So, so I think I want to make this this one top six. I'm gonna change this name to top six. To my top top six arcs in Monogatari. Top six, and we'll get it popping. Okay, so we're starting with Hitagi Crab. The beginning of, ba of Bakke Monogatari. It's not chronologically the first thing that just happens in general and whatnot, but it is. It is the beginning. It is when she is weightless, falling through with the stationary, and she gets caught by Kiyomi. It is the beginning of the greatness. This is the first thing that I saw. It was an A for me. It's an A. 
very solid. It's an A for me. Um, Hitagi is actually one of my favorite characters in anime in general. Um, if you guys don't know this, Monogatari is my favorite anime. Nisio Ishin is one of my favorite writers, and my favorite light novel series is absolutely Monogatari. So, I have a tremendous amount of respect for this series. So, it's the only three lines on top. So, I won't help myself. I'm not gonna spoil anything that's not. Um, I'm only doing anime. Anything that's only covered in anime and that's been out officially in the light novel, I'm gonna cover. The ones that I know, I will mention a little brief. I might just say I read it, but I'll put it in won't spoil. And then I'll put the other ones that I don't know and haven't read. I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone because I know some of you guys are probably maybe waiting for the anime or the books to come out or for like, you know, yeah. So I'm not going to spoil anything. I think Mayobi Mai Mai is the, is the um, Japanese name for, for, for uh, Mayoi Snail. I think so. I could be wrong if someone could correct me if that's, if that's the case. This is also an A for me. Um, listen, man. The introduction of Hachikuchi is so great because Hachikuchi is one of my favorite characters in Monogatari. She's one of the, my, my top five because I, I argue that there's two things that make a Monogatari arc um, very important. One of them is the perspective. So who's telling the story? I think what I really appreciate about the light novel version of, of Guitari is Koyomi's insight, his introspection, his mon inner monologuing. You don't get it to that to the same extent in the anime, though you're constantly following his gaze, which is, in which is interesting in, in its own right. Appreciate that, brother. I got some light novel second season, so I'll be starting with her. Okay, I, got, I feel that. My girlfriend actually got me some. I got some of the light novels under my bed. And like all and all of them over there. So I got all of them. That's all officially. And another thing I think is very important because Koyomi's in pretty much every arc and he's he's in there like a lot is the back and forth that the character can have with him, so the banter, so to speak, has to be elite. Hachikuchi, I argue, has some of the best back and forth with Koyomi, and that's what and that's and that's why all of their their like this duo goes a long way. So Definitely a fan of that. Sugu the monkey, gonna put it at B. Uh, I am a su I like I like Hambadu. She's really good. I actually think, in terms of a lot of the arcs that um, um focus on her specifically, this is the least interesting one. It's not bad. I don't dislike it. And this is her introduction. It does a good job. You learn she's a lesbian. You learn about her sportiness, rainy devil. You see her pack up Kayomi, and if you watch the anime, she's swinging him by the intestines and everything. It's it's crazy. It's insane. It's bad shit, but. I really think that she shines later on as a senior. I think she's a senior in Sugoda Court and Devil, I believe. She's the senior with her with her friend. Um, she plays basketball and stuff. But this, this is when Koyomi and company have already graduated. I really think the point from Hannah Monogatari, I really think when she's telling the story from her point of view, that's when it's elite, chef's kiss. So, so yeah. Um, Nadeko Snake. Okay, so not a not a con uh, not con brew. Um, Nadeko fan. What's her? What is her? Sengoku. Not big. Not big on her. Still a B. Still think it's a solid introduction for her. I don't think it's bad or anything. But I think the stuff with her later on that we'll talk about is far more interesting. <sighs> I'm not. A, I'm not a Subasa fan. I'm actually. I actually don't like Hanekawa like that. But the question is, do I, bro? You have read this. You've seen this. Oh, well, actually, you might be busy. But um, do I? I do what? What do I want to do with <laughs> with uh, the Tsubasa cat? I think, I think it. Well, I think it's a B. Safely, safely, I think it's a B. Um, I I, I think a lot of the apparitions that. Tsubasa Hanakawa deals with like is mad annoying and it pisses me off and I think she's an idiot for someone who's supposed to be so brilliant just just not a fan of it but it, it, it's 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 not bad it's not bad I'll shout out to it now Koyomi Vamp is absolutely one of my favorite arcs in um in the Monogatari series this is Kizu Monogatari um Koyomi Vamp is actually where I'd argue Hanekawa is at her best, at her peak, and that does that a lot for me because it makes me like her a lot. Funny little story and side note. When I was watching the Kizu Monogatari movies, when part one came out, there was a bit of a troll uh, um, scanlation or whatever or translation that did that did this. 
to the point where there, this, is, this is like Pokemon Go era. This is a while ago where it's like, Aradagi, do you play Pokemon Go? But I knew she acted like it was so crazy because despite the fact that they were they were like trolling in the in the comments. I was such a stan. I didn't even need the subtitles. I knew through context clues and just because. Hold on. See if I can grab it. It's like stuck in my bookshelf. Okay, fuck it. Keys of Monogatari is the first light novel that we got over here in North America, right? So as a result of that. It was the one that I had reread the most because it's the only one I had from 2015. In 20, I think back in 2015 is when it came out. So it's funny. I'm just like, I know exactly what's going on. And they're fucking with me. It's, and I just thought it was pretty cool. But shout out to Koyomi Vamp. It's an incredible arc. He's in guitar. He is great, man. Greatness. Kiss shot ace to the lion. Hot to undo booty do. Did Emily really just tweet out? I uh, tweet out. Uh, tell my Discord that I'm lying. That's crazy. Karen B. Now, I have revisited Monogatari, the light novel and anime, a plethora of times since getting into it around 2010, I believe it was. And the older I get and the more I revisit it, the more I just, I just cannot deny that Kaiki, in my opinion, is by far the best character. That's subjectively and objectively. This is the beginning of the introduction of Kaiki. So as a result of that, I got to kind of give it an A. You feel what I'm saying? I, I fuck with the Fire Sisters. They go crazy. They're dope. Um, Karen is actually my favorite of the two. She's dope. I don't dislike Su um, Suki or anything like that. I think her banter with Kiyomi is a little better than the banter with Karen. I just think Karen is a better kind of standalone character by herself. So definitely mess with her. I'm going to put Suki Phoenix at the pinnacle of B for now. I, if I if I remember correctly, I might have to look this one up specifically. I, if I remember correctly, this is the introduction of Yotsugi and who I believe is the most underrated character in the Monogatari series. And that's my homegirl, Kage Nui. Yes, sir. She is... She is somebody that the more I reread, I have a deeper appreciation for. I think she is the most underrated character in the Monogatari series and Monogatari fan base. I'm such a huge fan of her. Just finished the Ark and Light novel recently. I, 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 I feel it. I feel it. She's dope, man. I, I like her a lot. She's, she, she's amazing. So yeah, yeah, you might have to... For some of you guys who maybe... like, Because I actually... I'm a little ashamed to admit this. I don't think I've watched or revisited Monogatari since... When did the last light novel come out? Whenever the, lights, the last light novel came out, it was the last time I ever revisited any of the material like that. It's been a while. I should do a rewatch again. But Kaginui is amazing. She's one of, I love her a lot. Subasa Family. All right, bear with me. <laughs> it wasn't moving me. It's a good arc. I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just like one of those things where comparatively... I'm not a fan of it. I, if I'm remembering correctly, Subasa family. Actually, let me let me look this up just to make sure I'm actually thinking of the right thing. I'm sorry. One one moment because if this is the one where it is because she doesn't have a room and she's wandering and it's the kind of the introduction of um of the of the black honey cow and stuff. Yes, and this is yes. This is the one that goes back. This is after Koyomi Vamp. Okay, so I am thinking the right thing when when her with abusive stepfather and blah blah. blah okay. Yeah, this bitch, like, didn't have a room and everything, and it was just, like, I just couldn't take her seriously. And then creating the whole Black Hanekawa, and I was just like, brother, 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 sis, sister, sister, I can't, I can't with you. You like a boy, and you're doing all this, and I just, I just think she's, she's so, and I don't like her line. I don't know everything. I just know it. I don't like her. I just don't like her. I'm sorry. She don't season her food. She don't season her food. It's not moving me. Subasa Subasa Tiger is really good. Say this this one's really good. This is probably her her best arc, all things considered, from the standpoint where she is the focal point. And I but and you know like I think this is when her when it's burning down some of the places and stuff. Her hair is shorter, I believe, around here. She's got no house. She's got, I think this, is this is this when um fucking ha on the Hanukkah, Hitagi finds her like homeless and she takes her in and whatnot if I'm thinking of the right arc and this is when Kiyomi comes back a bit he got the sweater on I think this is after Shinobu is it Shinobu time? Shin one of the Shinobu arcs and he has the the sword 
You could have left it that she doesn't season her food. Criminal offense. I, I, I feel it. She tricking you out with her yetis. Yeah, she tricking them. She tricking them all. Tricking them y'all. So, tricking them all. So, I'm very excited to talk about my Yoi Jiangxi. This is again one of my six favorite arcs in the in the Monogatari series. It is. It's master class. It's master class. Um. How do I, I don't want to start this. This is. This it was such a treat. Like it just put a smile on my face to see Shinobu and and, and uh, Koyomi growing. In a lot of ways, I think Shinobu is the partner that Aragi needs. But I think Itagi is a great match. We'll talk about that another day. Um, and to see grown up Mayoi in a timeline where she doesn't um, perish tragically because of the car accident and whatnot, and to see her older at about 18 years below, the world's gone to shit because of the zombie infestation that's going on because of Kiss Shot, because of the death of Kiyomi and everything, just goes to show you how much Kiss Shot and, um, or Shinobu and, and it means to her and everything. But I'm going to read something I read from my blog post, I'm read from my blog post um, a while ago just because I think it encapsulated my thoughts a lot better. Truly one of my favorite parts of the series, Shinobu and Kiyomi grow so much closer during this segment and you get to see how much Kiyomi means to her. Kiyomi decides to go back in time and save Mayoyo on the day that she dies, but doing so they create a parallel timeline separate from their own world where Mayoi grows up and the world is destroyed. By you, by who? Kisha herself. In the events of this timeline, Aradagi Kiyomi is killed by Black Hanekawa as a res right? If you remember back in Tsubasa, in Tsubasa um, Cat, I believe. In Bake, in Bake, when she's being choked out, and Shinobu does like 55,000 backflips and kicks her in the fucking face, he dies there. He doesn't make it. That is where his death is. And as a result of them not going close because of, you know, parallel timelines, messing with time, butterfly effect, you mess with certain things, right? So... And you, and you remember her saying she was thinking about, like, destroying the world and all those and all those things, too, right? So, yeah. It's crazy because in the bleak, despair-filled timeline and hopelessness, um, you actually get to see what Hachikuchi Mayu would look like growing up. It worked. He saved her here. She's alive. He hands him a letter by my boy, Meme Oshino. Shout out to the Ghostbusters Club back in college. Yes, sir. I love Meme. He's so dope. With his Hawaiian shirt and his bucking backwards cigarette. Something good happened? Something good happened, bro? Um... It works. Saved her. She has a letter, but Meme, who like a boss, proceeds to just write down exactly what happens and ask him to save the world. They summon the the version of Kiss Shot from this world, and she sees what the alternate possibility of what of, of the life that Aradagi and her could have lived. They'd be closer and together, and just knowing that is enough for her to want to um, let Shinobu take her blood, die, save the world, and then they go back to the original timeline. It's a beautiful tale, and I love it. And it takes place in Kabuki Monogatari. It is easily one of the moments that just did my heart a lot of good. Like, I just love it. So, shout out to that arc, man. Shout out. Shout out. Yes, with the chat. He's so raw, man. Remember when Meme stops? Guillotine Cutter. Dam, 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 uh, sorry. Dam, I don't remember. And what's the other one? What's the other one's name? Damn it, I don't remember the vamp the, all the vampire hunters' names. That's crazy. I'm a fraud right now. It's not coming to me. It's been a while, guys. I'm sorry. My memory is shit. I'm old. Okay. So, Nodeko Medusa is actually probably a, a teetering AB. I'm going to put it around here for now. But it's one of those things, because of what it leads into, it's very powerful. But this is the kind of precursor to, to Hitagi End or whatever. Episode. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Mikey. Um, so, yeah, that's, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that one's really good. Shinobu time, baby. Sh Shinobu time. Shinobu time is one of the, is, is, is the arc that made me cry. I bawled. I bawled. I remember in college watching this and I was literally <laughs> wiping my eyes, son. Tears in my eyes, bro. Like. This is the part of the series that made me legit cry when I first watched it because this whole episode, this whole episode, and special is for is special for a few reasons. Shinobu's tale and her journey. The more information I get about Kishot, the better because she was my favorite character for a long time. And the ending of the arc, a mysterious dark like ball weird thing appears and is chasing these guys. Right, Mayomi and Koyomi are around. This entity freaks them out to their very being. It's not an oddity or apparition according to them. It's like a natural worldly phenomenon. 
Um, one that Shinobu ran into when she was the king of apparitions, she became a goddess, but she's not a goddess. She's a vampire, the king of apparitions, so to speak, and oddities. So in this town, she also, she, um, this town, she also meets and creates one of the two minions she ever made. And he died because when the darkness came for her, um, lo long story short, Mayoi is the lost snail and a ghost that was supposed to move on because the circumstances of her death and everything were when she returned to Tsunade, blah, blah, everything, and she was supposed to be good. But she overstayed her welcome. Her very, purses of, of her very purpose and oddity is not being fulfilled, and the darkness simply deletes them, deletes, removes. Kind of think of it like you don't even exist, and she's fading away. So she decides to move on instead of being deleted. So Mayoi and her do their little shtick one last time. And he doesn't complete it. She instead kisses him and passes on. And I just couldn't stop crying, bro. I was so upset. I couldn't believe it. Tears in my eyes, man. <sighs> Mono Guitar is good when it wants to pull on the heartstrings. So shout out to that arc, man. I, 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 I wasn't strong enough. I truly wasn't. Fuck me. Another top ten, another top ten, well, top six arc in Monogatari. Hitagi End. Hitagi End is very special to me for a couple of reasons. Hitagi and, uh, Hita Hitagi and Kiyomi, that's crazy. Hitagi and Kaiki are probably my favorite two characters in the series. For a long time, it was Kishot. Kishot's probably been knocked to third over over time and whatnot, but Kishot, well, those are my favorite characters. So let's talk about this. Remember I told you that... um. Nadeko Medusa was important because it's a precursor. This ties into Hitagi End. Now, you have to remember that the Monogatari story is not told in chronological order. We jump around. We jump around. Yep, yep, jump around. Yep, yep, jump around. I don't know why I did all that, but incredible, incredible arc. And so, Nadeko has become a snake god and plans on killing her beloved Koyomi, Koyomi Ominicha by graduation. He's tried countless times to save her and put a stop to her with Shinobu, but they fail every time, leaving him at pretty much death's door every single encounter. It's, it's, it's like if you see him, he is getting packed up, my boy. Hitagi does the one thing I never thought she'd do, but she turns to the very man that was the catalyst for destroying her family the ultimate con man himself kaiki deshu and guess what he's the narrator he this part of the story is told from his point of view and if you actually read it if you're reading the story reading reading the light novel instead of watching it he tells you numerous times that he's a con man and what he's being said can't be trusted. So you have to take everything almost with a little bit of a grain of salt or know that he could be possibly embellishing it. That man works for the dollar bill, for the money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what he, that's what, that's what he ties himself to. So it's incredible in that right. But it's not over yet, right? It's not over yet, right? So he's my favorite lead in the series in terms of any perspective that we've gotten the story told from. His point of view is my favorite. You'd be surprised to hear that my second favorite point of view was actually Kanbudu, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, shit, where was I in my notes? Blah, 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 blah. So anyway, so he's my favorite in the whole series. You, can even, you can't even take everything he's take, uh, taking as absolute truth because he's a liar. But actually seeing the world from his point of view is something I never thought the series would give us. He has an interesting mind. After agreeing to help them out, not because he cares about Hitagi, Sengoku, or Koyomi, he's thinking about... Like, if you, if you understand one thing about Kaiki, he does everything for money, but I believe you can make the case that he was in love at some point with Kamburu's mom, with Sugaru's mom. And he did this for her safety because she was going to destroy any and all things close to Koyomi Yoni Nichan. He did it for Kamburu's sake, not for anybody else. And I don't think a lot of people really pick that up. It's a very important detail you cannot miss. Now... Um, after getting the help, he goes through one hell of an interesting con plan to con a god out of godhood. Bro. After a series, a series of complicated and intricate planning and scheming, he ultimately almost fails until he forces her to choose between being a god and her dream to be a mangaka. And he does the impossible. Now, 
he, he cons a god out of godhood. Kiyomi shows up and tells him to leave her alone, and then after a conversation with Itagi, leaves. It ends with him being attacked brutally by some kids that he conned earlier in the story, and his fate is left ambiguous. And I think this is the part of the story that holds the most stakes and the most tension at the moment, well, at that time, and is the episode, and is the episode, so to speak, with the highest need for success. But I want to add a little extra caveat and tidbit here, because later on we see him and he's fine. Now it's possible that he was attacked, and he's just okay. But what if, what if I ask you this, what if he lied about being attacked so we'd forget about him because this story is being told from his point of view? What if the truth is he never gets attacked by those fucking kids? Food for thought, food for thought. Think about it. Suguda Devil. Damn, we're just, are we just going through, that's kind of crazy, y'all. We're just going to go through all of my favorite artists kind of like almost back to back to back to back to back to back. Yay! Peace, peace! Yotsugi Doll is one of my favorite arcs of Monogatari. It's part of Suki Monogatari in the overall series. I thought the anime specific... I also did a really good job of this just from the four episodes. It just really, really hit and it was really, really fun. From the snowball fight with um, uh, Shinobu and Yotsugi in the background, seeing Kage Nui. I fucking love Kage Nui, so seeing her does good. She's really cool. I like to seeing her just bouncing around because of the curve. She can't be on like solid foot. She has to be elevated. That's why a lot of the times when Yotsugi's around, she's holding her by her finger. I don't know if some people picked that up. Um, and I like how this ties into Mayoi Hell later on with Tatsui Teori. And it was honestly not too, in, he, he's, he's not too interesting here, but he comes full circle. But I respect the foundation that was laid for this arc for Mayoi Hell to be so fucking great. Yotsugi's a very interesting character in her own right and for what for who and what she is. And I just thought this part of the series was just really fun. I just had a great time with it. And sometimes I think enjoyment is out. So shout out to Yotsugi doll. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just uh doing these uh to some degree in order, I guess. It is what it is though. So let's talk about Sugura Devil. Hanamana Guitari. Man. I never expected to three Pete. <laughs> I never expected um He is Japanese Jordan. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Ishin. I never expected um Kombudu. Kombudu is a character that if you pay attention, she's actually quite insightful, introspective, and has great intuition. And I think she shows that really well. And not Shinobu time, it's the other Shinobu one. This is the one where her minion comes back. And why I don't know why I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. Someone might remember it for him. The way that she talks to Shinobu about having to choose between him and Koyomi. And it, it really gave let me know, like, she's not dumb. But if you had asked me that if a story being told from her perspective would have been great, probably would have told you to be on the lower end. I was wrong. She's the second best narrator in the Monogatari series, in my opinion. I think Hane... I think Hana Monogat Monogatari Flower Story is fucking brilliant. It's so fucking good. Let's talk about it. Um, so, in the original series, that is the story of Araragi and his trials and tribulations along with his friends and foes. This is chronologically the last thing that happens. This is before Koyomi Reverse. I mean, after Koyomi Reverse, Ogi Dark, Kitagi Rendezvous, all of those things. This is the last thing chronologically when it comes to the main Monogatari series. Then we move to off and monster season content. So we'll keep that in mind. This is excluding... Yeah, I said that. So I know this was, this, this, there was a time skip. This takes place in Hana Monogatari where Sugura Kambru is the protagonist, narrator, and is told from her perspective. She's actually one of the best leads in my opinion. And this episode of her perspective is a treat and a welcome change of pace. She's a senior in high school, meaning Kitagi and Kiyomi have graduated. So she's dealing with some loneliness because they're not around. They moved on to college in greater and greener pastures. Um... So off the bat, she learns about someone called the Lord of the Devil and taking requests. And after some mild investigations of her rainy devil arm is gone. And she runs to her old basketball team arrival, Roka, Numa, uh, Roka Numachi, I think her name is, who's collecting parts of the rainy devil. 
I believe, yes, Rain Devil. I'm not going to go over all the story details and story beats, but I'm not here to recap. But what I do want to talk about is that I enjoyed specifically about this arc was just Kamburu being the lead. I love the final match and resolution. I am a huge fan of the scene where she runs into Kaiki and Kaiki fucking blitzes her. Talk and then after they go to eat and he's talking about you looking a little frail, you gotta eat. Niku, Niku, you gotta eat, Niku, Niku. Meat is all what you need, Niku, Niku. That fucking scene is so good bro because she's a track star if you don't know so she's running she's trying to blitz him kaiki just come where you going trying to run the other way where you going like yo he outs better i'm like yo he athletic he's athletic yo shout out to kaiki bro he's he's that nigga bro so so yeah um just a fantastic arc, son. Like just, it's just incredible. I like seeing young, long hair Koyomi. Finally, his hair was long enough to cover the bite marks that he's been trying to cover for a long time. And he's driving his car on the road. But side note, yeah. So, like, yeah. So, it just, it's just a really, 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 really good arc. So, these two might shock a couple of people. I do not think they're bad. But I really... But if there's a character... Oh, shoot, I don't want to spoil this. Because no one's read this but me. I won't. Sp I'll just say this. There is a later part that you guys don't get to where I think. Um, shit. What's her, is a, what's her name again? Um, Sodachi is like a lot better. Ogi formula is good though. I like Ogi a lot. And what Ogi is and what Ogi reflects is really good. This is a really good arc when they're stuck in, they're stuck in the room, they're doing the math problem, yada, yada. And this is what ties into Sodachi Riddle. Excuse me, and Sodachi Lost, but I don't like her. I think she's fucking annoying. And I think her her thinking Koyomi at in the middle grade was gonna be perceptive enough to like, oh, your parents are cops, you're gonna help me out and just know this was completely unrealistic. And her holding and harboring that hatred years later into their fucking high school life is bad shit. I hate this bitch. She's so fucking annoying. She has an arc, though, where she's actually way more tolerable and pretty damn solid, but cannot stand her. She's dog shit. That being said, I think Sodachi Riddle is good, and Sodachi is, is like is whatever, but Sodachi Loss is a little bit better. So I'll put that in B, and I'll probably leave it at that. But I, I actually think she's terrible i just don't like her like i would not get along with her and when fucking hitagi punches her in the face i know hitagi's frail and like her hand after and she punches her i'm like that's right you punch but you, you punch her you punch her hitagi that's my goal i just i just thought it was just so unrealistic but it is what it is now let's talk about shinobu mail shinobu mail is is a very good and interesting one i i just can somebody, can someone in the chat do me a favor? Do you remember what the name of her um, minion was? I don't remember his name. I don't remember her, the first person she turned before Koyomi. What was his name again? I don't know why it's not coming to me. <sighs> maybe, I'll just, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just Google it. I'll Google it real quick. Hold on, hold on one sec. Um, let's put Kiss Shot, I guess. If I put Kiss Shot and go to the wiki, it'll probably, it'll probably tell me. Oshino Shinobu, Princess Fair, the Iron Blooded, Cold Blooded. Uh, Seishiro, wait, Seishiro Shishirui. There we go. There we go. His fir her first thrall. Could I remember his name? I'm sorry. This, this actually, you'd be surprised to know because even as a, even as a Shinobu stan, I love this because of Kamburu's involvement. Kamburu speaking sense into her fucking brain. On the floor where it's like, yo, you got to make a decision here. It's so great. It is so great. I absolutely love it. I'm starting to think, hold on. This Does this have all of the all of the short stories from um, Koyomi Monogatari? Do I do I see those here? Damn it. What are, they, what are they all called? I'm actually about to look that up one for one second. I might have to. I don't know if I see all those. I don't remember what they're all called because they were all. I know they were all short ones that were lumped into one volume for Koyomi Monogatari, but I don't recall um, the names of those individual arcs. So just give me one second, guys. Probably should have done better. Better re a little bit more preparation for this. I apologize. It's a little impromptu. Wasn't expecting to have to do this one today. With a work of origin. Go to works. Should that should that should give me what I need, right? Yes, works. There we go. 
Let's go down. Scroll down. Blah, 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 blah. Kayomi. Come on, I guess Calendar Tale. There we go. What's this? This has consist of what now? Was it just one then, maybe? Am I tripping? No, there we go. Koyomi stone, Koyomi flower, Koyomi sand, Koyomi water. It's, it's all Koyomi stuff. So, okay, never mind then. I don't see all that stuff there. So, they're not doing that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I, I felt like they I knew when I was seeing this, they didn't say like there was a lot there. So, thank you. I, I said thank you. I don't know why I said thank you. I, I did it myself. Anyways, uh, I believe this is Koyomi reverse. Koyomi reverse is an A. It's an A. Koyomi reverse is really good. Um... I like this arc just because of the kind of inverted world, seeing certain characters in certain different situations. Anytime I get to see an older, um, what you might, what you might think I'm going to call it, um, Hachikuchi, it goes great. It's just a solid arc. I have no, I have nothing else to say about it. But Mayoi Hell, I think, is just a little bit better. Now, I never expected Mayoi to come back into the into the into the fro forefront of the story. This is where Teori Tadasuri becomes really, really important and his involvement and in what he was doing in the origami folding and himself getting bodied by Yotsugi to get him sent to a certain part of hell so he can help free her to make her the new god of the shrine where Nadeka was was such a good way to tie that shit in. Because I won't lie to you, going back to hell to get her after Koyomi got packed up in Koyomi Monogatari by uh, Gaia and Izuko, I wasn't sure I was going to like this. But I thought he tied it in a way that it was very palatable and seamless. And I'm like, this is why execution is always everything when you're writing a story. I thought it was goddamn masterclass. It's so good. I love and and and, and then it's just like her being back and her being a god of the shrine just did a lot of good for my heart and spirit and soul because Haji Kuchi is one of my favorite characters. So shout out to her. Come and come and meet that. Hitagi Rendezvous was cool. I like this because of the date, the date portion of it. What do I do I oh. her her trying to get mm, be real with you? I like their planetarium date a bit more. Be, the hook for me for Monogatari when I was first get, am I in camera? Sorry, I'm leaning back and shit. Am I still in the frame? Um when I was first getting to Monogatari, the initial hook for me was actually um when they went on their date and she's like yo i'm broke i'm poor i don't have much but i can show you this view this shit means a lot to my family this or whatever and i thought that meant, meant a lot that moved me a bit more than the rendezvous but i like that we just took an arc and a, and, and a time to just kind of focus on their relationship and stuff that was that, that that does a lot for me i was very i'm very emotionally invested in their relationship and i wanted to, to flourish and i wanted to be okay and be good so shout out to them and wait a minute Oh, wait a minute. This is Koyomi Monogatari then. Sorry, so it's Koyomi reverses this one. So so this is uh so I fucked up. I'm fucked I fucked up earlier. My bad guys. This is the the calendar tale one with Koyomi sand, wind, everything, blah blah. This is still an A though. Like they're both still an A for me. <laughs> so I'll just put I'll put Koyomi reverse with sorry, I, I I mixed it up. That's my fault. Um Koyomi reverse, I'll still put an A though. Because of, like I told you, the inverted worlds, like Tales from the Inverted World stuff, seeing different characters in different roles and stuff, seeing fucking Yotsugi in that role. But sorry, to go back to the other one, the ending where he gets cut up and everything was really good. And what am I forgetting? There's, there's a big detail I think I'm forgetting for one of these stories. But there is a there is a portion in one of the Koyomi Monogatari stories where he speaks to Kaiki, and Kaiki says something that I think is great. Kaiki has the, the, the best bars and the most quotables in the Monogatari series to me. And this is what um, Kaiki says. When something incomprehensible becomes popular and flourishes, you need to question the generation and the times that you're born in. And I was like, man, if that's not something that I think is totally applicable to the real world today. Our world has become so incomprehensible. And I just question my generation and generation under me and maybe one above me. So what? That's Gen X, Millennials, and Gen Z. I question all the time, like... What are we doing? We're so unserious. Kaiki has the some of the best, one of my some of my favorite quotes of all time, bro. You might be surprised to know that I like Ogi Dark, but I'm not that high on. I'm not as high on it as other people. It's a B for me. It's a B for me. 
I think it's good. It's a great kind of last conclusion or last po- portion of the series. Apparition coming back, um, Koyomi losing his arm, the stuff with Ogi, and um, what am I forgetting? I want to say, oh, the kiss shot stuff when she's full big again. She does a little pose and everything. It's really cool. But now we're kind of in the, in 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 the category that I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but I I want to say that I would have this. In probably top, like top, like master class. I'm gonna put it in. Don't spoil, but it there is a there is a portion and later on that tells the true story of. I don't want. No, nah, I don't want to spoil. For, I don't want to say anything. I think this is best experience. But I'll just let you know which ones that I actually have read from the actual. Um, I think Shinobu Master is the last one because Shinobu that's still Shinobu Monogatari, I believe. Right, I think. Let me actually, sorry guys, let me just check one thing to make sure I'm not misremembering something because the last thing I read was Shinobu Monogatari. Yes, and that is, no, sorry, it's, um, yeah, Musu, and no, Yoi Monogatari? Did I read? No, Yoi, I didn't, I don't think I got to Yoi. And this is, yes, yes, so I'm right. The last thing I've seen is Shadomu. So this is, these are the ones that I don't want to spoil for anybody. So I'm going to put them here. By the way, I see. I there's so much I want to tell you guys, but I can't. I can't do it. I won't do it to you. Monogatari means too much to me. That I want you guys to be able to experience these things like um, like in normal and real time and everything. But that is the tier list, people. Um, maybe I go. I think I could order them. I don't mind ordering them in in the tier list. I don't think I order them. I but um, okay. My favorite arc in Monogatari in general. What is it? What is it? That's a good question. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's, let's go through it. I know my top six. That's for sure. Is it Hitagi End? Probably. I think Hitagi End in my brain is objectively the best arc. I don't know if it's my favorite. I kind of want to put Suga the Devil first. No, it's Koyomi Vamp. It's Koyomi Vamp. It's Koyomi Vamp. Koyomi Vamp. Is it my Yomi? Hold on. Let me take my blog post. What did I put in my blog when I did this years ago? Let's see if my taste have changed. Let's see if I can find this. Um, I have what? I have. Actually, do have Itagi end first? Okay, I probably. I think I really think. Okay, so I so what I have it. So here's here's how I have it there, and I'll see if I agree with it. I have Itagi end first, right? Then I have Mayoi Gianchi second because of yeah, just I just love Hachikuchi, seeing her older and. But I I actually see I have Sugar Devil third. That makes sense to me. Shinobu time. Then I have Koyomi Vamp and Yotsugi Doll. Yotsugi Doll being last makes sense to me. But you know what? It might be time for an executive change of my of my favorite. It might be time. No, no, there isn't. But I'll switch these two. Yeah, I think I like Sugura Devil just a bit more than my OG Yang Sheep. Just because of the perspective and point of view for Kambudu. I think I like it just a tad bit more. Just a tad, but they're still they're still dope. I'm definitely gonna do a revisit and reevaluation because it's been a while. So and I and I would love to revisit my favorite series again. So I'm I'm into it. Okay, let's see let's see in this in in the category of A, what I would do. And by the way, if it's in this one, yeah, that one has to be first. Um, which which is the one with friggin' um thingy? Is with a uh, I see I, I don't actually if I do that I'll, I'll spoil something because you guys know my favorite characters. My Yobi Hell, can we reverse? Let's see what's my favorite in this one. It's definitely probably my Yobi Hell. My Yobi Hell. I actually really like the anthology of short short stories. It's probably one of my favorite. Shinobu Mail. No, we gotta put Hitagi Crab up there, and 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 my Yobi Snail be up here. But probably have Subasa Tiger would be last last would be last here. Karen would be last here too. Karen Karen's fine, but that'd be that'd be there. Um, am I okay with this? My my reverse male, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That works for me. And B, my favorite thing in B here would be what? 
He talk your rendezvous. I'm gonna lie to you. I'm a I'm a I'm a romance merchant though. I like I'm a sucker for romance. I really love that shit. Pshuki? No, Sadachi lost would be probably last. Nadeko Snake would be probably here. Subasa Kasuga Monkey goes up for sure. Suki Phoenix, I will switch. Nah, hold on. No, I like that. And for this decision, these these two. Sadachi, yeah, that's that that's fine. That's my list. That's my list. And that's what I got for you guys. Let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. Let me deactivate this. Come back to this screen. So, there you have it. I have not a true fan. That's fair. I want him to stop. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's been going on for too long. He needs to put it down. Put the pen down. Um, but. These are my two favorite characters you see, obviously, Hitagi and Kaiki, who have a complicated history. Some people will tell you that they, ha they have a love interest. Uh, no, that's not true. Don't let them lie to you. That's not, that's just not it. Not the case. But this is honestly a fantastic series that I highly recommend to anybody who is a fan of um, really, really solid, tight write writing. Nishio Ishin has a mastery of the Japanese language, and if you're kind of a fan of... Like, I think his mastery is so good, unfortunately... So much ish is lost in translation because you just can't one to one translate to English. You kind of have to keep intent and attention. But I would love to do a proper Monty Guitar stream with people I know who have seen the series and stuff, and maybe do something like this again. Talk about some of the characters and stuff. You know what? Fuck that. Let's find a. Let's find a. Let's see if let's 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 see if we can't find a, um a Monty Guitar character tier list somewhere. Let's see if we can't find that Monty Guitar characters. Hold on. Characters, tier. Actually, did I do that already? I might have done that already. I might have done that already, but I'll do it again. Fuck it. Are these all, are these all the characters? I like. It comes across when they're missing a lot. Let me see what I can find here. Monogatari, all versions. Thank you. Let's see, all versions. Ooh, this one. This one is. But see, this one's doing this one's doing dumb sh that like is that is it Koyomi like four times with long hair after and stuff? Uh, interesting. This one does the thing where it's like if you ever play Budokai, it has like Goku end, Goku middle, Goku start, Goku GT, Goku Dragon Ball. It's like one of those ones. But this one's bigger. You think I've had? Okay, fair enough then. I'll, I'll leave it at that then. You saw it last week? Oh, okay. Well, then I'll, then I'll leave it at that then. So it's cool though. Maybe I'll, what I'll do is maybe I'll do it. I'll do it in the group next time. That's what I'll do. That'll probably be better. But all right, guys. Thank you for joining me. This is not going to be long. I didn't. I wanted to do Kubera today, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, goodbye.